All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy Tony Shen. I'm back with another FL Studio stock plugin tutorial. If you're new to this channel, this is basically a series where I make beats only using stock plugins from FL Studio or other easily accessible free sounds. So just perfect for beginners trying to learn how to make beats. Today we're gonna make a DDG type beat. Um, it's gonna have that like moonwalking Calabasas type vibe. It's gonna be really just it's gonna be kind of slow but very vibey. So I'm really excited to get to it. But before we get to that, um, just a few announcements. Um, I apologize for the inconsistent upload schedule. I just been having a lot on my plate right now. I'm just hard to manage time, but I always try to make it for you guys because you guys have been with me since day one. So um, let's get straight to it. DDG type B. Okay, first we're gonna pull up flex. I already kind of selected the sounds because um you know i just know what i'm going for right now um we're gonna use the nylon guitar um all i did to find that sound was just go here and then go to tags and then um boom, I need to, give me a second uh open up tags and then looked up guitar and then you know i just found the nylon guitar this is what it sounds like as you can see it's obviously kind of loud so i'm gonna turn it down and then you just want to give like a very catchy melody you don't you don't need it to be very very um complicated you just want it to be very catchy so so first let's just find the tempo right so you want something a little slower so maybe like 100 say like 116 maybe um let's turn on the metronome boom boom But um, a little like. Let's go to step. Just give it a little grace note, you know, just to give that. Boom. Boom. Just a little quick, you know, quick strums. Let me extend. Let's copy this. Okay, so let's pitch this up an octave. It's kind of cheesy. Let's paste this and add some more variation. Um, to copy and paste, just Control B or Command B if you're on Mac. Boom, 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 boom. And it's okay if the timing isn't perfectly aligned to the grid. It just adds a little bit of a, a human touch to it, right? It's kind of like off beat a little bit, which gives it some type of like tension, which is good. Up next, I'm just going to randomize the velocity just to... Uh, um, add further expression right so just control or option option R or alt R if you're on Windows and then that just you know changes the velocity a little bit I want this a little louder than this and then the next step is just to um, EQ this a little bit I want to cut out some of the low ends because we're going to add, add a piano next just to occupy that space so we don't want it to clash too much or some of like the mids. And lift up the high mids a little bit just to give it that, um, just to make it sound a little brighter. And up next we're going to just drench it in reverb like I said earlier and just reverb.
Yeah. I like that sound. And then next is just to add a little bit of body. We're gonna use an electric piano, same thing. Um, all I did was open up tags and then hit keys. And then I'm just using this electric piano sound from Flex. adding a little bit of body to it. Um, pitch it down an octave. It's so loud, oh my god. <laughs> Let's turn this gain down a little bit. Yep, that sounds good. We're just gonna copy and paste that, and then we're gonna strum it a little bit, so that just offsets the timing a little bit, and then also um, just randomize the velocities. I'm gonna add some chorus just to give it, just to make it sound good. You know, I don't know what chorus does exactly, like with the technical side, but it just makes it sound different. You know, and that's what a chorus effect kind of does next just eq i don't want it to clash with the bass right so let's add this um high pass filter yep all right next is add the drums tony shan slap pack volume three um, this is uh, this is my drum kit that I give to all of my subscribers. If you're new to this channel, grab it right now. It's in the link in the description, so it's really easy for you guys to grab. It's free. Um, but yeah, I think it's my best drum kit. Um, so just putting that out there, you know. Oh, oops. <laughs> Add the clap. And then you want to add some type of like a short stubby 808. So let's first come up with the rhythm first and then we'll worry about the melody, right? Boom. And then we're gonna add an open hat to complement the the 808. Just a facelift. I'm just gonna land on the, that right there. Just copy and paste that. So now let's work on an 808, right? Because right now the 808 is just playing on C, and then there's like no actual melody to it, and it's not exactly in key. So first, let's go to the 808. Um, just make sure it's in tune, right? So just control E to open Edison, detect pitch regions, C. All right, we good, we good, we good. So everything's in tune, right? Um, because by default, your root note is tuned to C. If that knob said like, if that label said E instead, just right click on E, but right now we good. Next thing is just to add this envelope thing. Just, I like doing this just, just so it gives it an extra layer of control, right? And next, uh, control L or command L if you're on Mac and that um, links all the notes to one another and just uh, like autos all the notes so it's easier to deal with. Then now all I'm doing literally is just, um, is just following these notes. And then next is just to add a hi hat. Let's use the chill hi hat. Oh no! I accidentally replaced the. Okay, give me a sec. 
<laughs> okay, let's go to closed hats. Um, chill, and then just throw that in here, and then let's just record it in. So I'm just gonna hit the red record button, hit notes and automation, and then I'm um, just hitting any key on your keyboard. Um, just make sure this thing is enabled. It allows you to kind of just use your keyboard as an MPC, as like a drum pad. It's pretty cool. That's pretty much the whole beat. Just um, yeah. I mean, it's a pretty simple beat. If you listen to Moonwalking Calabas, is literally just like one loop the entire time. <laughs> so um, now it's just Control E or Control Q or Command Q. Um, it's the step first, Con Command Q, and that quantizes it to grid. Just uh, Control Shift L to link multiple tracks to the mixer, and then basic leveling last step maybe add like a flute or some type of like a synth or something um let's go open flex just um just maybe like one counter melody just to keep it more interesting i mean you don't have to if you don't want to i'm just doing it so that my tutorial video isn't like five minutes long <laughs> um just getting you know putting more content out there just kidding um i love you guys anyways um what wind 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 okay um all let's find a flute dope okay Boom. Control B. Our reverb. Just widen it. Add some EQ. Just to stop some of the clashing with the with the plug. That's pretty hard. Now we're ready to arrange, so let's throw all this into the playlist. Right click here, split by channel, boom. Um, quick shortcut, just uh, hold uh, shift and command or control on your computer. And then boom, you have all the, all the patterns here. And as you can tell, we only have seven patterns, but the way we arrange it, we can make it interesting, right? So um, let's just start with this. Here we can do like a little stutter, All right? So just go to this, um, go to this cutting tool, and then hold Shift to like cut straight like that, and then just cut this, and then just, just go back to your pencil tool, and then copy this four times. Yes, sir. Now you have your entire beat. Let's just do this last stutter. Last stutter thing. And then just.
all right that's the whole beat um if you guys enjoyed <clears throat> watching me make this beat if you guys took something away from it please don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button i know i'm not posting as consistently as i used to on this channel i'm mostly just making like stock plugin tutorials and stuff but um just to let you guys know i have some other stuff working it's gonna be under a different channel different brand but i'm definitely gonna link you guys um to it once you know all that stuff gets ready and stuff but um it's pretty dope i'm working on some videos working on some um songs some different projects and stuff like that so um, i'm for sure still involved with music just not um, i just don't have as much time to make these tutorial videos but um you know i'm still gonna be a thing like you know i'm not gonna just forget about you guys but um anyways enough of my rambling i'm just gonna preview the beat for you guys and um thank you guys so much thanks for all your support